Over the last week, our staff has been investigating a most intriguing question. Which group of athletes is the best conditioned in Washington, D.C.? First, we had to find a definition to work from. An athlete's a person who participates in a sport or physical activity which requires strength, speed, and agility. With that foundation, here's our findings. Our search begins at RFK and quickly leaves. While they hit a lot and grunt a lot, they loaf a lot too. You know the ball's in play for only 12 of a game 60 minutes? You don't get conditioned that way. The NBA can't cut it either. Lots of running and jumping, but Justin spurts why an Iron Man plays but 40 minutes a game, and he still rests a lot. Hockey? Hockey? Well, you can figure out what we'll say there. They skate fast and work hard, but like basketball and football, there's too much break time. Who are Washington's best conditioned athletes? Cats. They work. You have to be warmed up. You have to be ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, call us five minutes. Five minutes. It's very demanding. Um, you always have to be in good shape. Do you consider yourself an athlete? Definitely. Definitely. It takes a total body, you know, commitment and total mind concentration. You really have to think about what you're doing. The minute you're on stage and those lights hit you, you have a job to do, and that's to be a cat. <laughs> Try to crawl on the floor and act like a cat. It's very difficult. They say it's the theater's most demanding musical ever. We do everything, you know. We do acrobatics. We dance. We sing. Each performance lasts two and a half hours. They do eight a week, five on a weekend. And yet these cats dazzle. With strength and grace, they conquer an audience. And all the while, they are cats. Off. They don't get hit. They don't know pain. You're wrong. We have a lot of injuries all the time. We have broken feet, broken hands. Right now, I'm going through some knee injuries. Uh, I'm developing tendonitis. Pulled muscles, sprained ankles. Sore ankle or the back of my knee is very sore from a tendon pull. Dislocated ribs in between your shoulder blades. You go home and you... You soak in a tub of Epsom salt and, you know, get those sore muscles, you know, back to its order for the next day. Most intriguing is the mental part. These athletes transform themselves. You start finding yourself to do this and use your head a little bit more and then, <laughs> you know, and sometimes I'll find myself, if I'm talking to somebody, I'll, I'll kind of go like this and, and then go, <laughs> I'm not a cat anymore. And I... So here's to Washington's smallest, most graceful, skinniest, most entertaining, and best conditioned athletes, cats. it all along, didn't you? <laughs> Our thanks to Kelly Ann McNally, who plays Rumple Teaser, Mark Esposito, who plays Tumble Brutus, Russell Warfield, who plays Plato and McCavity, and incidentally is an all-American gymnast in college, and Barry Bernal, who's pounceable for helping with our investigation. You know, I should have known that because uh, in our public affairs show, Close Up, we did a story about cats. And one of the things that, that we learned was, was that the cats company here is the youngest of the road companies. Their average age is about 18 or 19, because once they get to 21, they're too exhausted, they're too old for the yeah, role. Yeah. And one I of the, mean, it is just exhausting. One of the fascinating things about it is that the stage is tilted up so that it, it slides down towards the audience. And you, you watch them dance and you say, well, that's a big deal. And then you walk on the stage and say, ho, ho. I know. Big it's deal. tough. It's yeah. tough.
great. And Thank it's you. true that one of them was, was dancing with a broken ankle. Mm -hmm. I know. It's amazing. Coming up, they say... It looked like the Cubs were about to end 39.